I keep going back to uh, the 2008 Democratic primaries because it raises so many issues of race and how we deal with difference. Uh, we haven't, as I said, talked about gender that much. But the campaign just shows how little uh, white people know about black people. Now that's a superficial analysis, of course. Um, I also think that it shows how little that black people know about white people intimately. And part of that is because we still live in a very segregated socially society. And so when you hear things about uh, certain kinds of theology, when you try to consider um, that people say stuff like, hey, this is not a family value, but first thing that you need to know about black people is that um, we talk about freedom, 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 but that does not just mean freedom from chains. You're not free if you still hate somebody. You have to forgive yourself, first of all. Hate yourself for being weak enough to be enslaved, to be oppressed, to be a victim. And only when you forgive yourself can you be a survivor, someone who resists. But you can also not hate your oppressor. And I know that that's difficult to hear. It's difficult for me to hear because I see so much pain and, and people around me and I see how um, difficult it is for people to accept difference. In their, in, them own, in their own selves, that, that even the self-hatred is just, wow, let alone the hatred that, that people may have for another group, the fear. So on a very real level, we are about forgiveness. If this were a 12-step program, you know, the first step, of, cor of course, being to, to stand up and say, wow, something's got to change. This is who I am. You know, I am a victim or I am oppressed. But that's the first step, that's not the last step. And I would say that certainly one of those latter steps would be forgiveness. You have to forgive yourself. What did Bob Marley say? Forget your weakness and dance. Forget your sorrow and dance. Forget your, you know. But you have to forgive. That's what he's talking about. After he says all that, he goes back and says, get up and stand up. But he's not talking about hate white people. He's just saying, this is the evil that's inside you, and everybody needs to be free of it, including you. And we can only do that, as Martin Luther King says, through love. You know, really. I'm not saying everybody go out and jump on some multicultural bandwagon, but I'm saying, dialogue. We have to really respect the difference. Respect that people have, yeah, <laughs> that just what you know to be true is not the way things are for everyone, even though it could be very true for you. And that's a fundamental sort of form of compassion. And it really, it really disturbs me, this nation at this time, to see how little we focus on, um, focus on dialogue. You know, everything is, is just run down to a soundbite. So it's like we have the media running our lives. And that's very problematic, which is why I love YouTube, because you have people like you to come out and say otherwise.